Sabrina provided the address of Michael King's house and her father's house, which was only four miles from Denise's house where she'd been abducted from. So it seemed Denise was still in the area, still alive, and a massive search effort was underway by this time. And at 6.30 p.m., another call was made to 911 by a motorist named Jane Kowalski. She said she heard someone screaming and a commotion coming from a car that was in the lane next to her. The car, she said, was a green Camaro. She said, it was terrifying. I've never heard anything like that in my life. She made eye contact with the man driving, who then turned around and pushed down on something in the back seat. Immediately after this, Jane saw a hand rise up from behind the driver and begin banging on the passenger side window. And so the Camaro disappeared out of sight. Jane was on the phone with dispatch for over nine minutes. There were at least four patrol cars within a mile of her oh at the time, my gosh. but none of them was dispatched. 